Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. Today I'm going to be opening up a big parcel that I got from Canada and it's got a lot of cards inside. So let's have a little look, see what's inside. So before we get into this unboxing, make sure obviously follow me on all my social medias. That is TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all with the name Hammond's Hobbies. You can also join my Facebook group, which is just called F1 Sports Cards. Thank you to Kevin for this parcel. He's packaged it really well and also sent it uh, express all the way from Canada. So we're gonna open this up. Now this is actually from the flagship set and Chrome. Um, some spoilers <laughs> um, but I haven't actually ever shown you guys my personal collection of flagship which you can see just behind me here and that's because I never got round to completing it the way that I would want it the way I'd want to show it off so what I done was I reached out to this guy who had absolutely tons of it and I said have you got this this and this and this so everything in this box I, hopefully is going to give me most if not all of the cards that I need to be able to show off a completed 2021 set of flagship. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's open this up and find out what's going on. As of recording this video, I noticed that some of the sealed products starting to drop in price. I've noticed uh, people starting to send in uh, sapphire boxes a bit cheaper. Chrome hasn't really dropped, but I know flagship has. I know flagship dropped quite a lot. Right, so let's see what's he done here. Oh, what have we got here? We have got. Oh, I don't know if that was too heavy. Right, let's start with one of one of the boxes. Let's move this to one side for a moment. Open cards in here. Okay. What is in here? Oh, we, we got a Yuki Sonoda relic here, which will go into my relic collection. I'm going to try and complete a whole set of these. So I need to get quite a few. This is out of 199. So this is the white version that they do, but they also do blue, red. I think they do an orange. So thank you for that, Kevin. <clears throat> and then what's in this big bundle here? It looks like we have got the flags of foundation oh you can tell already look he's organized them i like that i like that <laughs> you guys know i like a bit of organization so these are all oh don't ruin them glenn <laughs> i just said that about organization i almost dropped them off right so we have got the world of wheels cars i believe there should be two complete sets in here We've got all your favorite drivers in their cars. All for the flagship one. Now, these don't come up that often in the uh, when you open the boxes. So they're actually quite a hard. I actually think flagship's a huge set. Obviously, everyone chases Chrome, Sapphire, but flagship is a massive set. You've got the world of wheels, you've got the flags of foundation, you have the Apex Predators, the debrief set. The relics, plus obviously the base 175. You've got foil versions, and you've also got, uh, they do parallels, and they're saying I'm missing, but yeah, huge set, absolute monster of a set if you're trying to complete it. So we got Pierre Gasly, Oscar Pistari, Mick Schumacher, Matteo Nanini, Lando Norris, get in. Kimi Raikkonen, George Russell, awesome, Felipe Drogovic, Fernando Alonso, Dan Tictum, Christian Lungard, and that's it for the Flags of Foundation. Now, I actually have quite a few of the Flags of Foundation, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, 
that this is either going to complete or near complete all my set. Then we have the debrief set. These don't seem to be in any particular order, but again, I sh there should be two complete sets of this. So yeah, I'm going to do mine slightly different. <laughs> so I'll sit there and do that after this video, which will take me hours, I bet. What else you got here? We've got the uh, UFC Prism box here. This looks like it was just put in here just for Packer. Yep, just completely empty box. What do you guys think about uh, UFC? I actually um, used to do a bit of, believe it or not, I know I put on weight now, but uh, I used to do a bit of cage fighting. Um, I used to love doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. But yeah, I, I was at one point I was really into my, but we're talking, yeah, I'm talking when, uh, what, what was his name? Rampage Jackson and all that. That's when I was watching it. And obviously Michael Bisbin and, and uh, yeah, that was my era. I, I probably wouldn't know half the guys now. I haven't watched it recently, but um, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about starting to collect and that's an empty box as well from some American football set. Get rid of that. Right, and then in here we have, <sighs> is a heavy set. So in here we have a complete complete set, a flagship. I don't actually know why I bought this. I, I I literally bought it because I thought it sounded cheap. He actually sold me this complete set of flagship for $50, which obviously in my money is 35, 40 quid. And yeah, to me, that's like, that's really cheap. Uh, it's, it works out like 20p a card. And I thought, you know, to get a complete set of anything for 30 quid, I, I'll have it, you know? I mean, I, I remember I used to sell, um, Turbo attacks, complete sets of that for 80 quid. So, and I sold out of them. I, I remember I completed about five or six sets of them. So yeah, to get a complete set of anything for 40 pounds, um, I'll have it, you know? So if, if you're watching this and you've got a complete set of anything uh, for 40 quid, I will buy it off you. Um, so that's um, that's a complete set of flagship there. So uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna have to make up a separate binder for that because uh, I've already got a complete set of flagship. I'm just after the inserts. And then this is a two complete sets of Chrome, Chrome 2021. So uh, we should contain all the inserts and everything. So again, I purchased these for $250 a set and there's two sets in here. Again, once converted into pounds, that's like 200 pounds, which in the UK I think is really cheap because uh, I've seen these go for about 400, 450. So um, although obviously I think personally the market is dropping, so we're gonna see more things like this, cheap sets coming up and cards going for very little money. In terms of like the base product, I think cards that are numbered one out of whatever parallels they, they will hold their value uh, as people chase them the more serious collectors as we go through a recession uh, but yeah these sort of like unlimited print base type cards um yeah they i think they're gonna uh, drop in price that's my personal opinion you may disagree with me you may think no glenn it's gonna go up forever but at your own peril but i still think that's really cheap again i, I try and work it out per card cost so I look at this and say, right, it's a 175 card set. Uh, so even if you paid one pound a card, you're at 175 quid. Um, and then obviously you got all the inserts, which I would say most people would pay two to three pound per inset, depending on obviously who it is. So th in this set, there is about, I think there's about 50 to 60 inserts. Um, you got the path to the podiums, which there's quite a few of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you got these red liners, which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of those. And then obviously the big one is these world of world of wheels, or there's quite a few of them. I think there's thirty of them. So you're talking all around about another what fifty to sixty cards on top. Uh, you do 50, 60 plus the 175. So you're talking about 230. So, I mean, that means that I've paid about 80p a card for buying this whole set. Now, I say that we haggled a bit. So I actually got like all of this combined. So 
it worked out slightly cheaper. So I'm probably looking that these stand me at 60p a card, um, if I'm being completely honest. So I think that's a bargain. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. What I'm now gonna do is go through with all these inserts and fill in the gaps that I've got missing from my flagship set. And then I'm going to sit there and create a, I'm gonna sit there and make up obviously the binder the way that I want it to look uh, for the flagship 2021. And then I'll show it off obviously on one of these videos. Make sure you obviously like, follow, subscribe. Uh, you can find me on my social medias, all with the name Hammond's Hobbies, as I've already pointed out. Uh, make sure you go and do that. Make sure you go and follow the Facebook page, the uh, F1 Sports Card Group. There's only about 20 members, I only created it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but that's really it for me, guys. I will see you on the next video from myself. Bye for now.